I'm gonna give you a little apartment tour. It's a shame I don't have a little cameraman to walk around like MTV crib kind of vibe, but I'm not constantly sitting on a tripod. But here's the bath, obviously, it's where I have a bath. Here's me in the mirror. Um, it's where I do my cooking. It looks messy, but that is genuinely clean. Like I say, organized mess. That's my washed up bits. Ignore that, I will wash that up. My supplements, creatine, yeah, yeah. These actual come to so fucking much. I got it wrong, I looked at the pricing. And something, yeah, I, wanted, I think it was like over 200 quid, which is fucking annoying. This is where I saw my little morning routine. Um, write down any ideas and stuff. That is where I rest my head. This is my alarm clock, which I'm so happy I brought here with me because having something from home with you makes you feel good. And this is the view, which we'd love to see. Honestly, I just cannot get used to it. I lay in bed and just stare at it. Do my check-ins out here. Um, that is a glass of that coat, by the way, but I like it in a wine glass. Bird show is on. And there's no animal in there, I was gutted. I thought that the person has left me an animal to play with, which I'd have been fucking buzzing about. But yeah, here is the view. Um, you might be able to see the fountain show from up here, to be fair. Let me have a look. Nah, never mind. I'm gonna do my steps in a sec. So, I'll, I'll, oh, here we go. I don't know if you can. I'm gonna do my steps and walk down in a bit anyway. So, maybe you can see that. I, I think you can. Um, but it's actually so beautiful, it's a joke. It's so relaxing. I don't know if it's the same show every time. When me and my missus come, it was a different one to them, but that was in January. So, maybe it's like a weekly thing or a daily thing they change it. I don't know. But yeah, that is the gaff. Obviously, there's not. Oh, there's a nice little flower wall kind of vibe thing as well. But yeah, this is the gaff. Um, not much else I can show you, it's only a cheeky little gaff. people so just done my steps to the water fountain show which is a blessing because normally I'm doing have a big hat on um, a big coat freezing so that was nice but deep one if there's anywhere in the world you want to see or anything you want to do make a plan to actually do it don't keep putting it into the future like you know they say there's only so many tomorrows so do it today which is very true like imagine if you've got some some awful news touch wood you won't there. Touch wood you won't, oh, I missed it. <laughs> Touch wood you won't, but if you've got some bad news, say you've only got like a year left something, what five things would you want to do before your time was up? And now write down those five things and set a plan to do every single one of them because genuinely our time on this earth is so short. And if you're just living like, you know, sleepwalking through life, not really conscious of what you care about, not enjoying your day to day life, you need to do something about it. Like, your time is the only thing that really matters it's the most precious thing the only thing we have so use it wisely don't waste it i just sit out on this balcony at night looking at the views it's fucking it makes you feel good it makes you feel grateful you get into deep thought and you know you just get like um a, a sick outlook on life when you sit here i don't know why but like if you're at home and there's something you want to be doing with your life there's like an unfulfilled dream, like something you haven't gone after, just fucking do it, man. Like, there is no failure. 
and going after your passion. Uh, deep that, there's no way you can possibly fail by going after it. The only way you can is if you compare yourself to other people. As I say, comparison is the thief of joy and comparing yourself with other people's metrics. Like your metric should be, I went after my fucking passion. So let that be enough for you. You don't want to get to like 70 years old and regret it. You might feel too old right now. Um, but as they say, today is the youngest you'll ever be. And there's never going to be a right time. Like, I saw a quote the other day. It's like, if you wait for the right time, you started too late. And uh, I think that's very true. So, yeah, anything you want to do, fucking get after it. Like, life is short. Your time on this planet is so fucking limited. Yeah.